Hello everybody and welcome back to my new tutorial. Today I show you the um, yeah, uh, something about um, image-based lightning. First open up a scene in Maya with a model and alright this is not the best one but I'm not so good in modeling so well, it's okay. Right, image-based lightning is good for very, very lazy people or um, if you want to render and are not sure about the light settings, um, then image-based lighting is uh, a very good solution. And now I show you how it's really quick and all what you need is uh, good power from your PC. Right. Go to your render globals and then let's start it. First of all, select mental ray and then go under the common tab and choose the solution you like. I choose this HD 720. And on the resolution, I gave a value of 300. It's always good to um, choose these um, 300 points um, if you have to print your work. It's, it's the standard. All right. Then go under the indirect lightning tab, and you see there's an option physical sun and sky. Right, click create and look at this. It was the wrong button. Delete. We need image based lightning. Create, of course. Then have we have an option image name, and under image name, you choose the image where you want the light from. Right, and open. And now what happens is um, that Maya creates a sphere with the image. And the image um, submits your light, basically. You don't have to um, set up every single direction, area or spot light like usual. No, you have a completely ready um, light setup in this image. It's a great feature and it's very fast and um, the result looking very good. But we have to make um, some other adjustments. This relief as it are and as it is, sorry my English, then we click on emit light. So now there are um, some values from the um, U and the V axis and this is very high actually. Um, if you have um, not a powerful machine um, I would say turn it on like hmm, let's say 64. What it does is it creates lights on the vertical and the horizontal line, I say. And now we have on this um, line 64 and on this line 64 lights. And every light um, stands for the point of color who is um, set on. And that's why we um, became the light. The other um, <coughs> positive um, thing is that if you have, like an, on this little robot here, a, a reflective surface, um, that the uh, surface also reflect the image. Like you see in a moment. So, but there are some other little things we have to do. 
First of all, um, let's do some adjustment to the final gather accuracy increase on 300. Uh, point interpolation I like to increase on 15. And that's first, that's okay. Under quality, check some things. I, uh, okay, wrong tab. Features, features. Um, be sure you have checked on ray tracing and final gather. And then is another thing, a last thing. This. Maya creates always a default light. And we don't want this light. We, all what we want is um, the light from this image. Nothing else what could be disturbed. Uncheck this and check your um, settings again that everything is all right. Okay, okay, okay. So, and then hit the render button, and we see us in a moment. So everybody, and this is the final result. As you can see, we have some clouds who are mirroring in the surface and the light is um, perfectly um, matched with our Roboman. For your end production, um, there are many other hints and tips and tricks why when you rendering um, this with this image-based lightning, um, the image is um, distorted and um, the quality is of this image is not quite right. And therefore it's a simple, simple trick. And I show you this in a moment. First, save your image. And save your image as a PSD file. Right. Save. Then go to Photoshop. Open the image. And here it is. And open the image with the clouds. All right. There it is. Open. So, <clears throat> and now go to your image under channels and Maya um, creates automatically an alpha channel and select it and go back to the um, other channel, ah, the English word. Um, not come in my mind. All right, and copy this and paste. <laughs> so this is when you doesn't get the final resolution, but we fix this in a moment. Uh, change the image size. Um, Right, show actual pixels, right, so, and paste again, and now we had final image, ready for production or for whatever you want it to. I hope you like this little tutorial. Give that image a name. And oh, there's something I want to say. Uh, there's always a bad thing. And one of the bad things about image-based rendering is actually the render time. Um, this image, what we have done, is takes 6 minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, you get the idea when you have an, a, a bigger scene um, 
Yeah, you can cook a coffee and watch your favorite movie until the 